When I reviewed Yoshi's Woolly World on Wii U, I gave it a 7.4, which is the mark of a good game. Here's what I said back then. There's a handful of really great levels in Yoshi's Woolly World, which makes the most of its beautifully tactile setting and choice of character. The world is incredibly familiar for Yoshi fans, but the imaginative and attractive art style make it feel fresh and appealing. Yet outside of those great few levels that test your skill, Woolly World is a more forgettable and fragmented experience. Cool mechanics are thrown in, but they're dropped into levels which never realise their full potential and fixate more on unearthing frustrating collectibles. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World for 3DS contains most of the same content as the original, but also a few significant additions that make it more than just a straight-up port. The most obvious addition is Poochie, Yoshi's devoted dog, who is adorable and always handy to have around, but criminally underused. The entire game can be played either in its original form or with Poochie in tow, but bringing them along shifts the challenge down into mellow mode. This downturn in difficulty comes partly from Yoshi sprouting wings, making it almost impossible to die, and a wide range of assists introduced by Poochie. It's a mode likely aimed at children and extremely casual players, which makes it a disappointment for anybody who is hoping Poochie's addition would refresh the campaign and make it feel worth playing through a second time. Poochie does help with one of the more frustrating aspects of the original. There's an insane amount of things to collect in Woolly World, including gems, yarn balls and daisies. While I usually enjoy collectibles that encourage exploration and reward accordingly, in the original some were just plain invisible until Yoshi accidentally bumped into them. Some of this frustration is alleviated by Poochie, who has a good nose for such trinkets. As hint systems go, it's probably one of the best and cutest that I've ever used, but it feels like a solution to a problem that shouldn't existed in the first place. Outside of the campaign, there are Poochie-centric stages where the bouncy mutt runs automatically through a short level. It's the only real opportunity you get to directly control him, but outside of a high score to smash and a couple of simple side objectives, there's disappointingly little to do with this charismatic new character. There's also 31 adorable, well-made stop-frame animations that unlock every day for 31 days. Here Poochie is given a wonderful sense of personality, unsurprisingly one not afforded by his appearance as a projectile in the campaign. Overall, this is an excellent port, with most of the gameplay feeling intact, but the charming arts and crafts aesthetic of the original sadly suffers in the transition to 3DS. Richly textured environments of the Wii U version have become much smoother, plainer and less characterful on Nintendo's handheld. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World ends up looking not very different to a lot of other platforming worlds you can find on the 3DS. Woolly World remains one of the cutest games around with the addition of Poochie. Even though most of the tactile charm of the Wii U original has been lost to the 3DS's technical limitations, there's still plenty of fun to be uncovered in this colourful and often inventive platformer. Yoshi's cuddly and faithful dog is a lovable new addition, but he feels underused. He definitely makes tracking down all the numerous collectibles more enjoyable, but it's a shame this instantly likeable character doesn't have more to do. 